raisins getting heavier, or I need to hit the gym. Lock. I must be dehydrated. Oh, are you okay? Jeez. Hi, Eamon, right? Yeah, nice to meet you. Likewise, I've never acted as your physician before, so I would love to ask you some basic questions about yourself. Yeah, um, what would you like to know? First off, how old are you? I'm 43. Okay. And uh, what race and gender do you identify with? I'm a Caucasian male. Okay, great. Have you been diagnosed with any illnesses that are affecting you today? Uh, no, not to my knowledge, no. And have you had any past medical history? Um, no. I tore my MCL um, when I was a kid, but I doubt that's related to the symptoms I have now. Great, great. Any bit of inform information helps. And uh, are there any serious illnesses that run in your family? Ah, uh, no, not that I can think of, no. Excellent. Are you currently on any medications today? Um, no, but my other doctor said um, that if I keep up my um, bad habits, um, then I might need to go on Latenzin soon. Ah, uh, are you by any chance a smoker? Yeah, um, I smoke about two packs of cigarettes a day now. It's been increasing a little bit. Okay, well, I'd recommend you, you try to do less of that. But uh, anyway, how often do you exercise? Um, I'd say about four to five times a week. Um, I enjoy lifting and running. So. Awesome, awesome. And when you run, have you been experiencing increased shortness of breath? Uh, no. Uh, surprisingly, like despite my habit of smoking cigarettes, uh, my lungs still feel um, the same way they did when I was 18. I still feel great. Okay, that's good. That's good. And uh, can you give me a general description of your diet? Yeah, definitely. Um, so my wife is really um, into health and fitness. Um, and so I eat a wholesome diet um, that meets all my macronutrient goals. Um, and as a family, myself included, um, we avoid processed food, fast food, um, and anything with too much sugar. Okay, great. And uh, what do you do for work? I'm an investment banker. Awesome. Now, now that I have a basic understanding of your habits, um, your lifestyle and any relevant medical history. I'd like to hear about what brought you in here today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it started out as minor symptoms um, that I didn't even really notice, um, such as trouble lifting my arm to shave, um, difficulty buttoning my shirt, um, and trouble unlocking my front door. Okay, those seem to be some fairly minor symptoms. Are there any other symptoms that may be more serious? Yeah, um, now that I think of it, um, I've been having an unusual amount of muscle spasms lately. Interesting. And uh, when, you, when you experience these muscle spasms, um, how intense are they? And how long do they typically last for? Um, I'd say in general, they don't last very long. Um, but I would say they do happen quite frequently um, throughout the day. Okay. And if, like, if you had to put a number on it, how many times a day do you experience the, these spasms? Um, a number, um, I'd have to say ballpark 15 to 20 times a day, maybe. Okay. And were there, were there, was there anything else that brought you in here today? Oh, I almost forgot. Jeez. Um, yeah, like pretty much the whole reason I'm here today, um, is because a few days ago, um, I was actually walking, um, and I seemed to trip over my own feet. Um, and I just fell to the ground. Wow. Good thing I asked again. When you experienced this fall, would you attribute it to a weakness in your legs, poor coordination, or both? Um, I'll definitely say it was a combination of both. I, I couldn't tell you like which one caused it more, but I would definitely say um, they were both definitely a factor. Okay, and uh, has your stress level been elevated recently, or have you had any trouble sleeping? Um, no to both. Um, my work is like inherently stressful work just because you're doing deals and you have very tight deadlines. Um, but I've never saved, um, seemed to be phased by the pressure um, or anything like that. Oh, good for you. And uh, before, before performing the physical exam, I would just like for you to describe to me what was difficult about one simple task, such as buttoning your shirt and shaving. Yeah, overall, um, 
I would just say I feel weaker than I normally do. Um, at first, when I had these symptoms, I thought, you know, maybe I'm just getting older. Um, but I, I, like this newfound like loss of coordination has really made me think that um, something more serious is going on. Because um, sometimes like when I run now, um, I just feel my legs flailing and it doesn't seem like they're working together. Um, so I would say just like weakness um, at first was kind of what was hurting me. Uh, but now like the weakness and lack of coordination is making these tasks even more difficult. Interesting. And uh, do you happen to remember when these symptoms first emerged? Um, it's tough to say because like I said, I mean, at first I was just feeling like minor weakness. Um, so I didn't really think of it. Um, if I were to guess um, the first time I like recognized the symptoms, um, I guess it was maybe nine months ago. And comparing those symptoms nine months ago to today, would you say that they've got progressively gotten worse or any better? Yeah, I'd definitely say they've gotten worse. I mean, it started with the weakness. They've gotten much like noticeably weaker. Um, and now I feel like coordination is kind of um, suffering as well. Okay. I, I think I'm going to have to do a physical exam, exam so we can get to the bottom of what the problem here is. All right. Yeah, sounds good. When the patient was observed through a physical exam, I started by taking the four vital signs, all of which were normal. His blood pressure was 128 over 79, his heart rate was 67, his respiratory rate was 16, and his temperature was 98.8. With all the vital signs coming back roughly within a normal range, I proceeded to first test Eamon's cognitive abilities. He had no cognitive problems and was able to speak clearly and memorize five words for a few minutes. Next, I shifted my focus to the limbs that Amos had been complaining about, and there were some fairly significant findings. When checking the patellar reflex to test the L2, L3, and L4 segments of the spinal cord, the patient showed clearly impaired reflexes. When examining the motor strength of the patient, the arms were clearly weakened while the legs showed signs of developing weakness. When performing a sensory test on the limbs that showed signs of weakness, the patient showed no loss of sensory abilities. The patient is able to stand and walk on his own, but had trouble walking strictly on his toes, an indication that some coordination in his lower extremities may be compromised. While well, under observation, the patient had multiple muscle fasciations in his left arm. The rest of the standard physical exam components, including the genital exam, rectal exam, cardiovascular exam, HEENT exam, and examination of the back, abdomen, and skin all were normal and showed no irregularities. 